On October 29th, 2025, something extraordinary unfolded on the far side of the Sun. An object from another solar system, 3i Atlas, had reached perihelion, its closest point to the Sun. Moving at over 130 miles per hour, it dove straight through the heart of solar chaos, right when the Sun was at its most violent in over a decade. Solar maximum, magnetic storms, coronal mass ejections tearing through space, and into that storm came a traveler older than our solar system. It came from somewhere else, not orbiting our Sun, not bound by our own gravity, a wanderer between the stars passing through just once. Discovered in mid-2025 by the Atlas survey in Hawaii, the object was quickly confirmed to be on a hyperbolic orbit, not bound to the Sun, not native to our system. That meant one thing, it came from interstellar space. At first glance, it resembled a comet, a glowing coma, a faint trail, a frozen body venting gas as it approached the Sun. But the details didn't fit. Its chemical makeup was alien. Early spectra showed an overwhelming dominance of carbon dioxide, far greater than in any known comet. Its coma glowed strangely blue, not the dusty yellow-white we expect from icy wanderers, but an electric, luminous blue. Astronomers began to realize they were witnessing something that might have formed in a completely different kind of solar system, one where chemistry and temperature followed unfamiliar rules. By October, 3i Atlas had crossed Mars's orbit, accelerating toward the Sun, and then it disappeared. From Earth's perspective, the comet passed behind the Sun for nearly two weeks. No telescope could see it, no radar could ping it. It entered what astronomers call the blackout zone, the exact region where data goes dark. But here's what makes that moment so fascinating. When an object is at perihelion, deep in a gravity well and moving at maximum velocity, even the smallest force, a venting jet, a rotational burst, a sudden fragmentation can alter its entire trajectory. If anything unusual happened during that window, we wouldn't have seen it. When 3i Atlas finally re-emerged from the Sun's glare in early November, something had changed. Its brightness didn't fade as quickly as expected, its color remained unusually blue, and its orbit, according to the first trajectory refinements, appeared to have shifted slightly. Nothing dramatic, but enough to raise eyebrows. Non-gravitational accelerations in comets are common, caused by jets of gas thrusting against the surface like miniature engines. But the scale of this deviation didn't match the expected outgassing. It was too strong, too sudden. Was this simply extreme sublimation? Or was there something else buried beneath the surface of this alien visitor? As data poured in, spectrometers aboard ground-based and space telescopes started comparing results. They confirmed carbon dioxide as the primary driver of activity, but with barely any water vapor. That alone made 3i Atlas unique. In our solar system, comets are largely frozen water mixed with trace volatiles. But in another stellar nursery, chemistry could produce bodies rich in exotic ices, CO2, methane, even carbon dioxide. The ratio is hinted at something deeper, a radiation-altered crust. After drifting through interstellar space for millions, maybe billions of years, 3i Atlas's surface had been bombarded by galactic cosmic rays. This wasn't just an icy body, it was an ancient archive, etched by time and starlight. During its blackout, multiple missions were ready to catch any trace. ESA's Hera probe, NASA's Europa Clipper, and the JUICE spacecraft orbiting Jupiter each stood in a position to detect its tail or ion trail. Their instruments weren't designed for comets, but for dust, plasma, and charged particles. If they crossed even a whisper of 3i Atlas's debris, they'd be sampling material formed around another star, something no human technology has ever touched before. The world's observatories were holding their breath. For the first time, interstellar dust might literally brush past our sensors. When 3i Atlas came into view again, the first confirmed detections came from the Gemini South Telescope in Chile. Images revealed a long, fan-shaped jet, bright, sunward, stretching tens of thousands of kilometers. That was strange. Normally, cometary jets point away from the sun, but here, material was being expelled toward it a signature of asymmetric heating or an exposed volatile vein. At the same time, independent analysis from the Punch satellite constellation 
built to study the solar wind, confirmed the comet's presence in its plasma imagery. That meant one thing. 3i Atlas wasn't just reflecting sunlight, it was interacting electrically with the sun's charged environment. It was part of the solar storm. At 11.47 UTC, October 29, 2025, 3i Atlas passed 126 million miles from the Sun, between Earth and Mars, while absorbing nearly 800 watts of solar energy per square foot. That's the equivalent of 30 nuclear power plants aimed squarely at a city block sized chunk of rock and ice. And yet, it survived. Against expectations, the nucleus didn't fragment completely. There was evidence of erosion. Yes, outgassing jets, sublimating crust, but no total disintegration. The Traveler had endured the sun's wrath and was now glowing faintly blue, leaving a ribbon of charged dust behind like a signature in space. Long before perihelion, astronomers had tried to trace its path backwards. Teams using data from the Gaia Space Observatory ran simulations across 10 million years of galactic motion, hoping to find a star system where 3 i Atlas might have originated. They found dozens of potential encounters, but none fit. No parent star, no plausible deflection event. That meant 3 i Atlas had likely been adrift for hundreds of millions of years, maybe longer so long that its original system had moved, its stellar signature erased by time. Its chemistry suggested formation in the thin disk of the Milky Way, the region populated by relatively young, sun-like stars, but that was as specific as anyone could get. A body without a birthplace, a wanderer without a home. As with Oumuamua years before, the debate reignited. Was 3i Atlas a comet or something else entirely? Some argued it was a classic interstellar icy body, something more extreme than we'd seen. Others noted the peculiar acceleration, the lack of water, and the directed jet activity, suggesting deeper, unknown mechanisms. One theory proposed it could be a fragment of a shattered exoplanet blasted out of its home system eons ago. Another speculated it was a rare carbon-rich body, hardened by cosmic radiation, into a kind of natural spacecraft shell, explaining its resilience near the Sun. Every answer spawned new questions. Every observation added another layer of mystery. In early November, as 3i Atlas moved outward past Venus's orbit, the spacecraft positioned to intercept its trail began transmitting data. Nothing definitive yet, but early readings suggested trace ions, carbon-bearing, heavy and unusual. If confirmed, it would be the first direct sampling of interstellar dust ever recorded, material older than our Sun, now captured by human hands. For the Europa Clipper team, it was poetic symmetry, a mission built to study the icy moons of Jupiter, now crossing paths with a relic from beyond the stars. The universe, it seemed, had a sense of timing. By December 2025, 3i Atlas will swing past Earth's orbit at a safe 167 million miles, close enough for continued optical tracking. Then, by spring 2026, it will pass near Jupiter, where NASA's Juno spacecraft will attempt to record its passing using radio and plasma instruments. If it emits anything, natural or otherwise, we'll know. For now, astronomers are scanning for deviations in its trajectory, possible fragmentation, and faint radioactivity. So far, 3i Atlas has behaved just enough like a comet to stay grounded in science and just strange enough to keep us watching. Here's the fascinating truth. We don't yet know what truly happened at perihelion. The blackout made sure of that. Was there a flare-up? A burst? Did it eject fragments, change rotation, or spill into smaller bodies? The data from ESA and NASA missions won't be fully processed until early 2026. Until then, speculation reigns. But one thing is clear, 3i Atlas is now the most observed interstellar object in history. Every major space agency is watching, every radio dish is listening, because this time, humanity was ready. As 3i Atlas fades from sight, its story is just beginning. We've measured its chemistry, mapped its path, and glimpsed how alien the familiar can be. We've seen what billions of years of galactic radiation can do to matter. And for the first time, we've touched material from beyond the solar system. Not in theory, but in data, in spectra, in numbers. That's how science expands, quietly, meticulously, through questions that refuse to die. What are interstellar visitors really made of? 
What do they tell us about other suns, other planets, other beginnings? We certainly don't have the answers just yet, but we're closer than we've ever been. 3 Eye Atlas is leaving us now. It will drift into the outer dark, carrying traces of our sun burned into its surface. A thin layer of stardust from another world mingled with our own. In a few thousand years, it'll pass another star. Maybe another civilization will see it and then wonder where it came from. We'll be long gone by then, but our measurements, our data, and our ore will remain. So, subscribe, like, and keep watching the skies, because the next traveler might already be on its way.